Hi, Andrea here. In this video, I'll show you how to make this dog bunk bed with floating stairs. Well, kind of floating. My aunt wanted a simple and modern bed for two dogs made from beech wood. I made a quick drawing in the SketchUp and took some measures from there. I started by laying out the cuts and cutting the pieces over its size. Then it was classic process of dimensioning. Ripping joint in planing and finally cutting to length. If you buy your lumber dimension, it costs more, but it will cut your working time in half. I laid out some marks for pocket holes and started drilling them out. I'm using here Craig's pocket hole jig. For quick and quite strong joints, this is one of the fastest and clean ways to join boards. You know that I love classic joinery, but where speed matters and not super strong joints are needed, this jig is always my bet. I'll leave you the link in the description so you can check it out. I put a spacer below the stretcher to make the offset and clamp the joint to keep the boards in place. I added some chamfers to the posts on top and bottom to prevent sharp edges and splintering the wood. Then I cut some pieces to hold the slats for the bed. The most complicated part were the stairs. I started by making the side supports. I took the bed apart and marked some lines for some joinery. I reassembled the bed and fit those side supports in place. Now I marked the length and the angles on the board. Then I cut it to size. To connect that board to the side supports, I used dovetail joint. I think that pocket holes would hold this, but I wanted to be sure, overkill it and just make the angle dovetails. Why not?
While the bed was still on site, I placed and found the angles to fix the threads into place. I copied that angle to the miter gauge on the table saw and cut those triangles. I drilled some holes in the bottom of the threads for the dowels. With the double pins it was an easy job to transfer the holes. I made some simple jig to be able to drill the holes on the drill press. Then I glued them in place. Before gluing them to the side pieces, I made the grooves on the table saw to provide some grip for the dogs. To align the threads on the center, I clamped two pieces of wood to guide them perfectly. Then they were glued into the place. Two stair threads went smooth, but one was a bit persistent, so I showed it who's the clamp boss. While that was drying, I eased up the sharp corners around the construction. Then to reinforce the stairs, I added two more triangles under the stair threads, making them exceptionally strong. I fit the staircase into the grooves and screw it to the frame. I could glue them in, but this is so the bed can be transported easier and it's still a very strong joint. I cut some slats from white oak to support the dogs. They were still humid, so I left them a few days in a shop to dry out. They are thin, but very strong and flexible, giving a little bounce and comfort, even if a thin blanket is placed underneath. I finished the bed with three coats of varnish and added some felt pads under the legs. My aunt was very pleased with the outcome and the dogs love it. I hope you like it too and try building it yourself. Before you are off to the workshop, please like, comment and subscribe. If you love what I do and you want exclusive content with early access to my videos, please become my Patreon. Many thanks to my new Patreons, Steve Symes and Henry Robinson. Thanks for watching, see you soon!